what you've got here right now is really a concept pod. Um, these pods are designed to carry about 25, 28 people. Um, and this is specifically designed here uh, for Dubai. And what we've got here is a, a first class section over here, uh, and then much more a, uh, a standard class section over here. It is about the passenger experience. I think people sometimes forget that, you know, we are all about speed. They think it's about speed, it's not. It's about how you will travel in the future, when you want to travel, at the times you want to travel. Most of these uh, pods will have infotainment systems. The ability for our system to be able to recognize who you are, pass you through security, take you through, guide you to your seat. It's all about having a personalized experience. So by the time you've sat at your seat, even the infotainment systems will know what your preferences are and put on what you want to hear when you want to hear it. We are still in the development planning phase uh, with all the authorities. Projects of this scale don't happen overnight. They do take a lot of planning. Dubai is a hotbed right now for innovation. So careful planning and development up front before we start spending huge sums of money is essential. Mass transport systems have to be for all. They cannot be divisive. They, they need to be able to be accessible. And in order to do that, we have to be competitive. We have to be able to price our system so that it is competitive with other modes of transport. Yes, there may be a premium because you are getting these huge benefits, but ultimately we also need to understand that we need to generate revenue. And there is a very fine line between consumers being able to afford and not afford. So we are very, very sensitive to ensuring our pricing reflects the need to attract everyone.